So, you have a relay and you want to be able to test it. This is the easy way. Goodbye, multimeter. Hello, relay tester. I recently had a relay in my vehicle that wasn't working, but I had no way of easily testing it. Relays are crucial for the operation of your electrical system in your vehicles, and there are a few different types, but you need to be able to test them when things go bad. You have fuses that you can check that are continuous and not broken. They're easy, and you should start by checking these first. You can tell when a fuse is broken, but it's not so easy to tell when a relay is broken. I searched and found this awesome little device from AliExpress. It's cheaper than the price of a new relay and well worth the money. This device allows you to test the function of relays, letting you know if they're faulty or not. Now relays generally work like this. You have a low control circuit over pin 85 and 86 commonly. This charges up a coil. When the coil charges up, it pulls down like an electromagnet, closing a switch. Like the one here, going from pin 30 to 87. This is the high powered circuit. When it closes, it continues the circuit and powers up things like lights, etc. It's a little bit harder to test without power, and that's why this device is so handy. You take the device, connect positive to positive on your battery, this can be on your car battery as well, negative to negative. It shows the voltage of the battery, so a real life scenario. You grab your relay, chuck it in the hole that matches the relay you have. Check whether it's 4 pin or 5 pin. Press the test button and if it's green and clicking, then you know that it's functioning correctly and you can move on, test the next one. How good. Let's try a different style of relay like this one here. There's a diagram on the side that shows you what type it is. It should be like the one I explained just earlier. But let's try this one out and see. You put the relay into the board in the right hole, just like so. Red. Now push the test button and green. Awesome, this one works as well. How good. Now, let's try one a little bit different and see if we get a green or red light. You might have noticed that the configuration on this one is not quite the same as the black one. So let's just see what happens. Red. Now this is a non-standard relay. It's configured a little bit different. The pins 30 and 87 are switched around so it doesn't work in this tester. But most standard relays do and it's well worth having. So, next time you need to check your relay, get one of these and use my link in the description, use my discount codes and load up your whole cart with awesome tools like this and get a discount. Thanks for watching, see you next time.